to my new concepts today we are going to start with dairy microbiology okay first part introductory part so we will just see about or we will just study about milk basic components and importance and why we are studying dairy microbiology okay so let so milk is an opaque white fluid which is rich in fat and proteins and secreted by female mammals for their uh, for the nourishment of their young ones okay so milk can be regarded as secretion of mammary glands which contains or uh, containing nutritionally rich substances like protein fats carbohydrates minerals vitamins and water so it is considered as complete food or whole food okay it is also a good medium for microbial growth because it has all it has proteins fats carbohydrates minerals everything so it is actually a good medium for microbial growth therefore it is important to study milk microbiology or dairy microbiology okay so even um, formation of curd or spoilage of milk is um, related to microbiology as many microbes grow in me uh, in milk okay so we study that so already a video is uploaded on curd facts behind curd okay or microbiology behind curd okay so you can check that on my channel so now we will be just studying about b6 like composition of milk so if we considered between cow buffalo and goat the percentage of water is higher in goat that is 87.88 percentage of fats are more in buffalo milk that is 12.46 percentage of milk proteins are higher again in buffalo milk 6.03 then percentage of lactose is higher in cow milk that is 4.80 and percentage of minerals is again high in buffalo milk that is 0.89 okay so mostly we prefer cow or buffalo milk even goat milk is preferred in some rural Uh, areas okay and it is also highly nutritious so if we considered a, about just say cow milk what are the ingredients okay in whole milk so consider whole milk 100% and we will just cut it out or we will uh, do partition with what with the other ingredients okay so 12.5% are total solids and 87.5% is water so among 12.5% fats are 3.8% and solid non fats are 8.7% then from solid non fats minerals are 0.8% lactose is 4.6% and nitrogenous compounds are 3.3% so again if you consider only nitrogenous compounds 0.2% from 3.3% are non proteinic nitrogenous compound and milk proteins are 3.1% so this whole constitutes to 3.3% milk proteins are further categorized as casein lactalbumin and lactoglobulin okay so this is how you can study whole milk or you get uh, uh, ingredients separated likewise for a cow milk whole cow milk so what are other components which are present in milk so minor components are like cholesterol certain pigments like beta carotenoids cryptoxanthin then number of enzymes like like lactose uh, sorry yes lipase protease catalase phosphatase and peroxidase okay then vitamins are like vitamin a b like thiamine b1 riboflavin b2 uh, pyridoxine b6 nicotinic acid and pantothenic acid then vitamin c d e and k from this vitamin b and c are water soluble and while vitamin a d e and k are fat soluble okay so if you get a short note on components of milk you can write about minor components 
you can write these three four points and then you can describe about major components like lactose then milk proteins casein etc so let's study about major components like lactose so lactose is a sugar which is unique to milk and it is 100 percent digestible it occurs in two common forms that is alpha monohydrate and beta anhydride this sugar imparts sweet taste to milk and the percent of lactose in milk will depend on type of animal breed of animal and health of animal okay so type and breed we had uh, com studied that in that comparative table for composition okay so you can uh, compare there between cow buffalo and goat so even that table is uh, sufficient if you want to mention percentage of lactose then next is about milk proteins so details of lactalbumin lactoglobulin is what we will study here so lactoglobulin occurs in milk in four forms which are referred as lactoglobulin e lactoglobulin b c and d out of these a and b they form lactoglobulin and are in common occurrence this milk protein contains higher concentration of sulfahedral group sh okay and upon excessive heating of milk sulfahedral groups are denatured forming h2s which imparts cooked flavor to milk okay so you you may find um, difference in test of raw milk and cooked or boiled milk okay so that is because on excessive heating sometimes the sulfhydryl group uh, the bond gets denatured the group uh, sulfhydryl group gets denatured and it imparts cooked flavor to milk okay another major protein is casein so it is a major protein naturally occurring in milk and it exists in four different forms which are referred as alpha beta gamma and kappa casein small parts of casein they occur in dissolved state and however major fraction of casein occurs in form of colloidal state or in form of aggregates casein is generally associated with calcium magnesium phosphate citrate okay this milk protein can be precipitated in three different ways first is acid precipitation enzymatic precipitation and then alcoholic precipitation so we will study these in another video and lastly minerals which are present in milk so in significant amount magnesium then calcium sodium potassium phosphate and sulfur are present and in trace amount iron copper zinc aluminium magnesium uh, cobalt then silica uh, boron vanadium lithium strontium titanium are found okay then last point that is milk fats so this fraction consists of fatty acids glycerol and phospholipids in milk around 142 fatty acids are present and out of these 20 fatty acids are more significant the phospholipid present in milk is lecithin this phospholipid is destroyed when milk is boiled lecithin can undergo auto oxidation when it comes in contact with oxygen so fatty acids present in milk could be volatile or non-volatile and some fatty acids are water soluble like 70 percent of fatty acids occurring in milk are saturated and 30 percent are unsaturated so for this point you can mention some examples for saturated fatty acids like palmitic acid meristic acid or steric acid and for unsaturated fatty acids you can write linoleic acid or oleic acid okay so this was basic about milk microbiology so this was introductory video for dairy microbiology next we will study about casein casein precipitation then types of milks then about bacteria which are commonly found or which are uh, reason for milk spoilage okay and so on so there are some topics which we need to discuss under dairy microbiology and you can find those in my upcoming videos 
Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel and keep learning. Thank you.